Hey there YouTube, BadFatPanda here, and I have another commentary for you guys. Uh, this is a gameplay of StarCraft. Uh, StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty um, that I actually just played like five minutes ago maybe. Um, so this is basically, we can go ahead and look at the production tab and uh, put it on my vision because that is that is a key component in what, what we do in here. Um, so uh, this is a cool game. Uh, I really enjoy it uh, quite a lot. And I uh, sort of like, this was my gift to myself as I'm currently finished finals. I have submitted the last essay that I needed to do, and I got all of that done, and I completely finished, uh, which is quite nice. So, with that in mind, I decided to go play a couple StarCraft matches, and after that, I was going to uh, play through the entire rest of the campaign before I had to leave uh, to go back to my parents' house. Uh, for the holiday break, um, which will be cool, and which will be so. Yeah, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna sit down and do like a four-hour uh, live commentary session. So that should be uh, quite. I have to, have to drink up my water before I before I start that. So like, this is my mindset here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, probably siege tank expand, which I like to do on this map uh, because this map really is not, uh, it doesn't have a very easily defended natural, and it's very wide open, you have two spots, like right here on the rocks and right here on the rocks, and then you can also come through the back door, sneak Hellions up there, Blue Flame Hellions up here do wonders, and I really enjoy it. Uh, so I sent out my guy after uh, building the Supply Depot uh, as, as a scout, and uh, the reason I did that after the Supply Depot, not after the racks, is because uh, if you have any sort of Terran that you're, you're against, um, chances are they're going to wall off, but they won't have their wall off by the time you get here on maps like this, but... Alright, so that is, that is rather fucked up right there. Um, why would you wall, wall off with supply depots? Um, my assumption here was that he must have a proxy barrack somewhere. I don't really feel the need to scout for it right now, um, but I do feel the need to go and rush. So immediately I'm putting down that sunken bunker and delaying my orbital just a tiny bit. Um, out of build order, I still do get the gas uh, because regardless, I do like to have that early stim, especially if I'm going for an early push. Uh, so that is pretty much it. So here, you see, he's already building a marine. Well, where is he building a marine? He's building a bunker. What the fuck? Um, so it's not. I don't. I forget when I. Uh, but this is a. It's a pretty fun game. I thought it would be uh, sort of a good opportunity for those of you that maybe don't play it um, to see some sort of aspects of cheesery. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I have mini wheat stuck in my throat as I do eat those for snacks throughout the day. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was not going to go down. Um, so I did see those those SCVs coming around here. Like, All right, what the fuck is going on now? And uh, you always want to maintain the watchtowers on uh, the Zelnaga Caverns because they are definitely key to what you're doing. So what I sort of think is that he's going to pop, go ahead and pop a uh, pop a bunker down here and try and block me off. And, and put a bunker on his main just in case I attack. So here I'm, I'm putting down a third Rax, like, all right, and then, <laughs> what? What is this? So immediately I go to try and kill the SV and three three Marines come out. I'm like, damn it, you gotta be kidding me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on everyone view now. And lo and behold, Z Proxy Barracks. So I don't actually know, I didn't watch this before from his perspective, so I don't actually know what is going on with uh, his base. But it, little do I know, that this is actually a, a all in by him. Um, these these forests. Uh, this is actually really good. If you, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna cheese like this, I, I don't suggest it because it takes away from the game. Um, but if you're gonna cheese like this, his second bunker didn't have range on anything, um, and I wanted to keep that. Uh, here, I'm not actually researching anything, but he shoots this off because you can't have marauders when you're doing something like that, uh, because marauders will definitely hamper the whole bunker thing. Um, so here, I try and take him head on, and that's really not a good idea. I should have put that supply depot down. Um, but the, se the second I get the second Marauder out, I'm immediately going to try and at least kill this bunker before it finishes. Because uh, the, the goal here is really to continue building up your economy while you're trying to deal with this cheese and you're trying to get him uh, without placing a bunker anywhere near your buildings. Uh, the uh, main idea of walling off like this in the first place is so that he doesn't have early access with any cheese or uh, blue flame hellion drops. Oftentimes you're going to see me put a supply depot right here or uh, put another building right here, usually my engineering bay. Uh, so that they really don't have a chance to get in. Oftentimes the Hellion drops are from here, so you really don't have to worry about it. But just in case one sneaks in your main, always good to have that cut off. Uh, so here he's still producing, and he doesn't have another barracks up. Uh, which is sort of like, oh, well here he obviously figures out, well, alright, I'm pretty much done 
if I if I don't get this. So this is going to be a true all in, and uh, my APM's probably shit. Yeah, indeed. Although it's pretty up, up, relatively high. I don't know. For me, for me at least it's high. Uh, so he is like spamming around here, and I, I'm just trying to get around. I don't want to necessarily uh, confront both bunkers head on. I just want to wait for more reinforcements. These marauders do a ton of damage against the bunker compared to the marines. The marines sort of shoot pebbles. And uh, here you see all in. Uh, he does have 275 minerals, so he can rebuild that bunker just a tiny bit. Uh, but if he waits too long, then he won't actually be able to uh, to pop it back up and and get another bunker, which is what he needs to do. I mean, he's not he's not producing anything in his main. This is this is completely an all in. Um, so I am still building SCVs. I'm still calling down mules. And here, this was key too. I built another bunker. I built another barracks down here. Put a tech lab on that, so I could get more marauders. I definitely want to do have one SCV because uh, Marines sometimes auto target SCVs uh, simply because I don't know, but uh, it's just just a feature of the game. Uh, so they can be used to tank just a little bit of damage, and I want to. I'd rather just go ahead and have them tank the fight rather than me uh, sit there and, and kill some people. Uh, so this was pretty much it, and that is the game. I didn't know that he was going to GG at this point. I thought maybe a lot of times uh, pe people who proxy gate have like gates and cybernetics cores and all that shit back in the band but uh, that was pretty much it no GG and uh, he decided to just leave the game so I uh, did message him afterwards with a GG and uh, congratulate him on the cheese and no I'll, actually I just said GG that was it uh, it's really all you need to do to piss somebody off when they do this uh, but they lost uh, so this was a 2000 rated platinum uh, versus me which was a 2000 rated platinum and uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this I will have uh, probably if I have uh, the computer available, I will probably end up uh, exporting a Black Ops campaign video uh, today. I'm going to have another Minecraft video up tomorrow as well as some more campaign, and uh, hopefully get the campaign done relatively soon. Uh, but I hope to enjoy that because I heard that the ending was quite good and the entire campaign was, was quite decent. Um, so I'm going to get on top of that, and I hope you, all of you guys are uh, enjoying your studying. I hope you can be finished with finals somewhat soon. All my friends are really done on Friday. And uh, the large majority of them were already done on Wednesday, which I was sort of like, grr, because I still had to finish my paper. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace.